Heights, Gabrielle. And Delise. And this week, we're showing you my video science project for school. Enjoy! Hi, it's Gabrielle with my sister, Elise. And today we're gonna to be talking to you about the forces of pushes and pulls with roller skates. When we roll a skate on this table, it might seem like the only push is coming from my hand. And the only pull is coming from my hand. But there's much more happening than that. Let's take a closer look and get your skates on. All right, I've got my skates on. Here, Elise pushes me. And here, she pulls me with a rope. It seems like there's one push on me here and one pull on me here. Actually, no. All kinds of pushing and pulling forces are affecting me. Let's back this up. When I push or pull Gabrielle, Teddy bumps and lumps in the floor, push back on the wheels. The air in the room pushes back on me as I move through it. When I use a rope to pull Gabrielle, it's not just my super strong muscles pulling her, but the weight of the rope itself. Then there's my wobbly skating technique that pulls me in almost every direction. All these forces affect how far and how fast I roll. And of course, there's gravity that is pulling me and my skates down all the time. Without gravity, I wouldn't even be able to roll at all. I would just float off into space. Base. Which would be really bad. So the next time you're skating or doing anything else, think about the forces that are pushing and pulling on your body. And make sure to eat some healthy food so you can push back. Bye! Bye. Thanks for watching! The most important piece in our puzzle is you. Be sure to like. Tell us what you think. And share us with your friends. And of course, subscribe.